that it's difficult to separate the uh, convert from the people of Israel once they've joined. Because once they converted, they have a status as members of the people of Israel forever, even if they stray and go back to their previous religion or to some other religion or heresy. Um, so people use this as a reason to uh, discourage converts. What is interesting is that in Hilchot Isorei Bi'ah and the Mishnah Torah, Rambam quotes this uh, concern with converts, and which you can find in Talmud in Yavamot. Uh, what is that? Yeah, Mem Zayin. That's 40, 47, page 47 in Yavamot in the Talmud. <coughs> so he quotes this, and yet immediately after this, he brings all of the laws regarding how to relate to the convert, and surprisingly, despite just stating the difficulties that can arise from making converts in the past, yet when he goes on to explain how we should relate to them, the laws are very encouraging and optimistic for the convert. The negative consequences which we know of in the past are not expressed as a reason to discourage converts, but rather reason to do certain simple tests to determine their uh, sincerity in, in converting and joining the people of Israel, simply to test that they have no ulterior motive. Of course, we cannot know all the depths of a person's hearts and intentions. This we leave to the Creator. We are to live and, and carry out the commandments of the Almighty according to His Word, and not to try to take the place of the only knower of hearts. So, the laws that are codified in chapter 13 and 14 in the Mishneh Torah uh, are encouraging despite following immediately after a law which uh, uh, a statement uh, as to the negative possible negative consequences of converts and in those laws we find one uh, after we've checked to see whether this uh, potential convert has his eye on any uh, uh, boy or girl among the people of Israel we check up to make sure that he's not just coming for love uh, once we once that's clear to us, then we inform him that the people of Israel are struggling in this era, that they are pressured, and we inform him of certain uh, punishments that will be incumbent upon him if he if he violates uh, laws of Sabbath, for example. Uh, once he becomes a Jewish person, because before he becomes Jewish, he's not obligated in these. So we need to let him know that there are. Uh, liabilities that come with being Jewish. Yet, these laws state that we are not to elaborate upon this. And then it, go, it's, it states that we are to inform him of the fundamentals of the faith of Israel, which is the singularity of the Creator and the prohibition against idolatry. And this we're to elaborate upon. We give him a few of the uh, light commandments and examples of some of the severe, some of the critical commandments and we are not to elaborate upon this. And we explain to him the blessings of being Jewish, and that in upholding these commandments, he who is uh, wise and knows these commandments and does them, in these commandments he will get great reward and merit in the world to come. And that despite the struggling of the people of Israel in this life, this is also for the good, that they as a nation not be lifted up in arrogance, but that they be more inclined towards ways of humility and thus turn to the Creator in sincerity. Now, after stating these things, it is interesting that uh, Rambam goes on then to write that we do not elaborate upon these negative things, but we do elaborate upon the positive things in order that he should feel cherished. And notice, this person has not even converted yet, he's only showing interest. He's showing the desire that he wants to convert, but he's not yet done it. And yet, Rambam, Maimonides, who is considered the greatest authority on Talmudic law, the only one who has codified all of Jewish law, both the written 613 commandments and all of rabbinic literature, into one codification, until this day, the only one, he writes that we are to make him feel cherished by means of doing this, lest we incline him away from the good path which he is on towards the bad path. What is that bad path? <laughs> That's obvious in the context. Leaving the faith of Israel. And again, this is once 
This is before he has even joined. It's interesting to me. This is kind of uh, similar to another uh, law which Ramon presents and the laws of kings and their wars, where uh, in the same place it states that Moses was commanded uh, that we compel the nations of the world to uphold 